The last time we saw a Hollywood movie with an entirely Asian cast was way back 25 years ago when Joy Luck Club was released in 1993. Well, thankfully, there's a new one coming out, and this time it has a bigger budget. It showcases the industry's top talent. Here's a sneak peek of this summer's hotly anticipated rom-com, Crazy Rich Asians. Damn, Rachel. It's like the Asian bachelor. These people aren't just rich, they're crazy rich. Now you really should have told me that you're like the Prince William of Asia. That's ridiculous. Much more of a Harry. <laughs> Mom, this is Rachel Chu. She just thinks you're some like unrefined banana. No, 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 uh, those are a few fingers. Know this much. <laughs> All right, here this morning are uh, three members from the cast. Mm -hmm. uh, Aquafina, Ken Jeong, and Nico Santos. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having Thank us. You. So I loved the books. Like, put on a movie for my kids so I could finish reading them. Love oh, yeah. all of the books. Kevin Kwan was here earlier in the year. But for anybody who hasn't read the books yet, can the three of you set up the movie for us? What is Crazy Rich Asians all about? It's about crazy... Rich... Asians. <laughs> <laughs> the way the book described it, which really helps you to get it, is the fact that we're not talking multi-millionaires. We're not talking hundreds of millions of dollars. These people it's... don't roll unless you've got a billion. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Ba bajillion, yeah. Bajillion yeah. dollars, which is an actual Yeah, unit. and I think yeah. um, the first time I saw the book was in a Hudson News in the airport. And I remember seeing the cover and the title, and I was just like, what is this? And I looked at the back, and it, and it wasn't a period piece. It wasn't historical. Mm -hmm. It was a modern-day love story. Um, and it centered around an Asian-American girl. In, in, in against the backdrop of Singapore, and um, it was it, it's so fascinating. You feel, Singapore is a character in the movie, and uh, it's just yeah, it's a it's a it's a love story, you know. Yeah. Part of what I loved about uh, the book and the movie is that you get to learn about a part of the world that I typically don't see, and that, you know, a lot's been made about the fact that there's not a lot of Asian representation either from Asian countries or Asian actors. Mm -hmm. So this is a movie that does all of that how much did it mean to each of you not only that it's asian representation from director all the way through to location but for actors as well well it's just really refreshing to be part of a, a movie with an all asian cast that where nobody does kung fu in this movie uh, yeah. nobody's <laughs> fleeing a village we just get to be normal you know like complex self you know like fully realized characters right um and, and yes the movie is called crazy rich asians but the themes in the movie are very universal yeah it's about finding love and acceptance and um, feeling like an outsider in your own family, which we can all relate to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Sure. Aquafina, what about you? Uh, how did I feel about, about the... Yeah, and it's an all-Asian cast. I, yeah. Flair Magazine did this great article where they talked about, as a young Asian woman, she used to watch Chrissy Yamaguchi because it was the, she felt like it was the mm. only famous Asian that she saw on television. Yeah, as a young I think, um, you know, Asian-American kids, uh, and, you know, even any, in any country, they, they want idols, you know? And when you grow up and you don't have that, uh, you search for it and you try to find it in some way. And 25 years, that's an entire adult life that has yeah. spanned. Uh, that's just walking around that has never experienced that kind of representation. So I think this will, you know, it, at the very least, it will show, you know, the kids in these countries that, like, you, your voices are heard. You know, your stories can be told mm -hmm. uh, in authentic, real ways. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's, just, it's just a blessing to be a part of this. Ken, what about for yourself? I think all of us have, internally, we've been through similar trajectories in our acting career. We've always been... Like the, the the sidekick or the supporting actor, and yeah. it's and what was amazing behind the scenes is that even if we didn't know each other very well, you know, we looked at each other. Oh, we've had similar journeys, yeah. there, and mm -hmm. that's it, it's the only movie set where I felt fully myself. Yeah. You know, wow. a, as an actor who's had, we've all had similar experiences, and and we behaved on set in a different way. We behaved truly as ourselves. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. know, sure. and that that was. That was very, very special to me. I think it comes out in all of your performances as well. What were you going to say, Nico? No, it was, it was nice being on a set where we didn't have to sort of answer questions about being Asian, because usually when we walk into a set, yeah. um, I'm either the only queer person or the only Asian person. Well, what kinds of questions would people ask you? It's like, what part of Asia are you from? Are you Chinese? You look Chinese. But everyone did ask him to go sh to take them shopping. I, I, felt, I, felt <laughs> I was like, I, I was like Nico, are that. you getting sick of it right I did now? Get everyone's that. like, oh my god, but you have to take me shopping. It's like, you think that's all he does well, is that shopping? I love, so. <laughs> what does that bring to <laughs> the movie itself that people are going to they may not know what happened on set but they're going to see it come through on the screen what what does that mean about the fact that you don't have to answer questions that you normally have well to i mean like the, crazy rich asians is is a, really it's labor of love from everybody involved in it yeah. and i think people are just really going to see the all the love and the mm -hmm, joy and mm -hmm. the heart that every single person 
who touched upon this movie, put it into that movie, because it's really, really and, and the most watching. important thing is it's not it's not a movie just for for Asian people. This is an enjoyable, yeah. universal story that has all of the all of the elements of something that's accidentally Asian, you know, and that's what's really cool about it too. And to have Asians also behind the scenes, shout out yeah, to the sure. author Kevin Kwan yeah. and the John director Chu, John Chu, our crew, yeah. our whole crew. Yeah, our whole You're going to have a depth of character and performance mm -hmm. and of cinematography that you don't have otherwise. Yes, yes, totally. I was glad to talk to the three of you today because of the movie, you guys are my three favorites. I love the characters. Woo! They're the, mo they're the three. Thank you. No, I'm mm -hmm. saying that they're the three oh, from the book that are the closest that I saw in the movie. And I loved them more in the movie than I even did in the book. Oh, great. Wow. Yeah, That's like the awesome. short blonde hair. I don't know whose call that was, but that was good. Wasn't my call. But I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, no, it was fun. How did you <laughs> We should mention really Wig. fast, Aquafina, you're going to be back here for the MMVAs you yes. are hosting for us. We nice. won't make you wear a blonde wig. I'm so excited. No, I, I'll, I'll come out in the blonde wig. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Strap me in, you know? I'll bet. You yeah. excited? I'm so excited. I, I, yeah. I know it's a big event here. We're, we're like in. We're, oh, we're we like, shut down the streets. Yeah, I know. Wow. It's going to be tight. I'm, I'm so stoked. Yeah. All I right. love Toronto. Can't wait to see you again. Guys, thanks so much for coming Thank here. Thank you so and much. Congratulations Thank you. on all the success.